The wealth of nations hangs in the balance. The health and vitality of millions also is threatened. Violence and thought, word, and feeling is almost as deleterious as the physical acts that result in injury. My disciples respond to the call from within As events unfold, changes are wrought, and the challenges are met with courage and resolve. This day is the day of awakening. This day is a day of atonement. This day is a day where you, O oh soul, may respond to the God light within and through holy resolution determine to be in alignment with that holy will of God. Do not succumb to the miasma of the mediocre ones, for you were called long ago to be intrepid, victorious. In your ascent to that will, yes, the A-S-S-E-N-T and the A-S-C-E-N-T, for in your ascent to God's will, naturally you ascend as you fulfill it. By qualifying yourself through obedience to that will, as a determined one, you stand out from among the masses in order to give the fullest measure of your victorious selfhood toward this holy cause of planetary enlightenment, freedom, and victory. Each of you has matured to a great extent in your God's self-realization of late. Yet more remains for you to accomplish, to fulfill, in order that that full measure may be bestowed upon humanity and offered on the altar of transmutational change. What is it then, O soul, that you would give today and every day in terms of your brightest and best, your talents, your spiritual gifts, so that many more may be moved by compassion to respond to the frequencies of that holy blue fire will from on high. As you are steady, sure, as you are constant and awakenly determined. I am there in your midst through that fire that you invoke. Treating you no longer as slave or chila. Now as brother, sister, as holy friend, 
as compatriot, as initiate of the sacred fire. And in this tryst, our work proceeds. In this divine process of giving and receiving of that will, of first understanding the anointing that comes from on high and then the responsibility and the accountability whereby that holy oil may indeed bless thousands and millions. We together move forward as one in the one light, the one supernal glory of that will divine. I am determined, even as you are determined, to be victorious in all of the measures that the great white brotherhood has set forth as required for our victory in this hour. Many skirmishes occur and sometimes disciples become embroiled in duality in the short term. Yet I see beyond these to the final battle wherein the light of God prevails victoriously on behalf of all life, all men, women, and children, all cultures and peoples, so that all may live in the equality of divine opportunity that God provided all in the beginning and which has temporarily been compromised by the dark ones throughout the earth. They have no power over you, O soul, save what you allow them to wield over you. Yet your over-soul is greater than their machinations. Your God power, which you have just invoked, will and does make the difference each hour, each day, in your overcoming the worst of the worst of your past. For doors are unfolding, windows of opportunity are presented unto you each day to breathe in the fresh aroma of heaven's perfumes and glories. And if you abide in your presence, if you succeed in ascertaining what is real and determinedly giving your highest offering to the divine, I am there within that offering. I am there suffusing you with the full measure of my presence in order that you, one with God, can move forward indeed unto perfection's glory. The naysayers are everywhere. The media is replete with nihilistic impressions that keep the masses bound to illusion and the dichotomies of life in 3D. Yet the will of God, blazing forth and shining in its divine glory, conquers all. Disparities are dissolved. Inanities are consumed. And the one light beams forth, shining bright as the example unto all to follow. And that light is within you, each one, for you are that will of God in action here below. You are the will 
of the Divine One so long as you may perceive it, believe it, and use it, qualifying it as you see fit, yet always giving deference to it in all your decisions and in your greater awakened state of being each day. Oh, how great is the light sublime that blazes upon the altar of each heart of every son and daughter of the Most High God. Yet many perceive it not, few feel it as you do, and rare are those who fan it with devotion and inner praise of the God light. Yet, dearest ones, even though time is short for many to determine once and for all to follow the impulses of that holy will, you are there as an ensign, as an example, as an obedient one, curtailing darkness at every point. Resolved and living often on the razor's edge, yet indeed tried and true, you remain steadfast, victorious, virtuous. Oh, how we rely upon those, even though not fully self realized outwardly who yet have the constancy and courage to continue to give of the last of themselves toward our cause. It is the humble ones, as you, blessed hearts, whom we dearly rely upon to invoke that light, to be that will, and to manifest the glory of it each day on behalf of the masses who yet remain in the shadows of the nether worlds of illusion. I announce to you that my discipleship sessions, which formerly were only offered on Tuesdays, will also be expanded and offered on Fridays, beginning as immediately as possible. Because many of you require a little boost from me on your path. Many of you yet remain a little bit timid in the workings of the Spirit in your life, awaiting word from another to take action. If anything, dearest ones, I will simply confirm what you already know to be true and give you that push forward, give you that kick in the pants in order that Progress, greater progress may be had. And you will be happier having made greater progress, I assure you, than awaiting something and leaving behind opportunity unfulfilled. Yes, I see each of you fully self-realized within that will of God, I see you brimming with light, shining as the sun, violating no cosmic laws in the process of the fulfillment of that will, yet taking daring steps forward as courageous hearts leaps and bounds, if you would, toward the final victory and goal. 
Where are the courageous ones throughout the nations? They are often in holy meditation upon that will. Or in the churches, the synagogues, the temples, silently offering self to the Divine One in intimate prayer and conversation or in nature, partaking of the Blessed Mother Earth's sacred gifts throughout this world. I bring all of these to thee, O Lord, as my offering this day. The humble hearts, the courageous ones, the intrepid souls of thy glory. Are there enough righteous upon earth to save the nations and the wealth thereof? I say yea. And if you agree, O oh my God, O oh my Lord, then deliver them this day with your arrows of light and let the bastions of freedom remain upon earth where souls may be free to worship as they please, unhindered by the machinations of the fallen and the dark. Your presence is everywhere, O Lord. Your light glows upon the mountains and within the hearts of the righteous. Fan it, O Holy Spirit, O breath of God this day, and let many more feel thy impressions, thy graces, thy bestowals of holiness and virtue. Next year, 2022, the Divine Director will offer sessions through this messenger on fulfilling your divine plan in your life. Thirty-minute sessions that will allow you to ask three major questions and receive guidance from the Manu of the Seventh Era. Dearest ones, if I were you, I would take advantage of this opportunity beginning January 1st in order that you will see all clearly through his perfected vision of who you are as a God self-realized man or woman. He prefers that you come with poignant questions and appropriate suggestions on how you may fulfill your divine plan in your remaining years upon earth. Rather than simply asking, O oh, divine director, what should I do? What is my divine plan? Dearest ones, this is not a question that initiates ask. They propose, and then the master disposes or approves, you see. The initiate takes full responsibility for his or her life, sees beyond today, into the future domains of light and in a pre-awakened state visions what he or she desires to accomplish on behalf of the Lord God, the Chohans, the Manus of the ages. If you are truly a visionary of any kind, you will learn the art and science of prescience, 
previewing what is your destiny fulfilled and then making it so by concerted action, by courageous work and service. I am replete with many divine gifts to offer many of you. If you would simply be determined, ask for them, and then work to receive them. I do not withhold anything from the righteous and the courageous, yet it is up to you to be declarative, informed, and then resolved to receive these gifts by your active, forthright lives lived within that will supreme. This activity and community of the Heart Center is one of our major divine endeavors to inculcate within the earth divine wisdom, holy theosophia, on behalf of thousands of initiates moving toward their full God self mastery, self realization, enlightenment, and ascension. Yes, there are many. Other communities of light wherein disciples worship in other ways. Yet, dearest ones, this is one in which immediately the angels bring the light that you invoke to our retreats and to the cosmic reservoirs in the etheric plane to be adjudicated and utilized for God good within the earth. Your morning sessions accomplish much, even much more than you can believe outwardly. And if you saw the effects of even one more attending each session and how it multiplies the action of light, you would always be present and ready for action in your chairs, one with us in spirit in voice, and in vibration. One soul can make a difference for a thousand across the earth, saving suffering, transmuting darkness, avoiding catastrophes of all kinds. If you believe that you are the one as you have averred in your prayer to me, then through that belief, that faith, it is so, and you are the one holding back the dark storms of today. You are the one blazing forth that light to awaken and christen many within the glorious will of God fulfilled in their lives. You are the one through whom that holy will proceeds and flows to accomplish seeming miracles among the nations and even in your own families and homes. What miracle have you seen of late in your life? If you are not experiencing some dynamic and amazing transmutative and fulfilling activity. Then look within, dearest ones, to see how you may have compromised the light in some way. Resolve to change. Accept greater light within your soul and allow your spirit to then behold the glory of God manifest and fulfilled through the Holy Spirit's graces in your life. 
I believe in you as you believe in me and God within all. Since my belief is true blue and yours is bordering on that same sheen and glory, together our faith sure and noble, moves all forward in that glory divine and that will sublime. Dearest ones, I am with you always, intimately conversing with your spirit, and goading you toward the full accomplishment of your mission and vision in this life. I am deed M, your Moria L. I love you. And did you know that I often sing with you? And as I receive the light in your songs, it is as if the sacred vibrations of your heart's fire soars to worlds beyond worlds upon which the angels then amplify those streams, carrying them to the altar of the Most High. And then your voice is heard by the God of very gods, pleasing in his, her ears. The light is there, your presence is known, and God whispers back unto you, O oh, my beloved, I am with you always. Be safe, be loved for I am your safety and I am love within you. Thank you, my dearest, my blessed and beloved friend.